<laughs> you know, so, um, let me ask you this. They brought you down to homicide. Yes. Were you a, a suspect? I was told I was after the fact. You looked like one. I mean, like when I heard him talking, I was like, that's this guy. Now, um, but you cooperated all the way with everything they did. I volunteered for a uh, polygraph. Did they ask you any questions before y'all went on tape, like talking about anything like general? Not that I recall. Well, before they took care of the homicide, they were talking to you. Yeah. Do you remember what they talked about? No. Did you feel like a suspect on them? Yes and no. Did you tell them anything about them arguing on the phone or anything mm -hmm. like that? No. Nope. I have no more questions. Thank Any you. redirect? No redirect, Your Honor. Sir, you're excused. Thank you. Thank you. Your next witness. Come on, calls Officer Chris Maybody. Chris Maybody, please. Officer, good morning. Watch your step, and if you'll have a seat in the witness chair. If you raise your right hand, then. Do you swear or affirm the testimony that you're about to give will be the truth? So help you God. I do. All right. And you may ask. Good morning, officer. Good morning. Uh, can you please introduce yourself to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury? Uh, Chris Maybody. I uh, work for Louisville Metro Police Department for four years. So you said you've been out for four years? Correct. Uh, so you were employed at LMPD on May the 13th of 2016? I was. Um, so what do you do at LMPD? I'm a patrol officer. And what does a patrol officer do? Uh, we ride the streets, uh, you know, a certain area that you're assigned to, you ride the streets, try to prevent crime, uh, you know, to take reports, uh, things things of those natures. And then, so, what area or division do you work in? I'm in the 4th Division. Uh, I was currently assigned to, at that time, I was assigned to B2, which is Germantown, Smoketown, Shelby Park area. And that's here in Jefferson County, Kentucky? It is. And then, so, do you recall making a run? responding to a crime on May the 13th, 2016. I do. How did you know to respond to that? I was dis dispatched by Metro Safe. And do you recall about what time of day that, that was? I do not recall the time of the day. Um, when you got on scene, just kind of walk, through, walk us through what happened. Uh, I remember being dispatched and I was maybe a block or two off when I got dispatched. When I got on scene, uh, I saw a, f a female with a dog at the door, uh, right around the area of the door. She might have been right inside or right outside. Um, told me that someone inside had been shot and either herself or someone else had told me they thought that it was a murder-suicide. Of course, I didn't know. I just made an approach, made entry into the first or second room on the right, uh, found a female on the floor, which appeared to be deceased at the time, and then I saw a male laying on the bed, appeared to be breathing um, at the time, and I could see that his head had been bleeding. I couldn't tell where from, but there was blood around his head. And so when you arrive on a scene like that, you're sort of getting told what's going on, you're not sure what's going on. Correct. What are your goals? What are, what are you doing right when you get there? What are you thinking? Uh, first is going to be, you know, making sure everyone on scene is safe. You know, if there's anybody that needs medical attention, get medical attention to them. And then, you know, preserving evidence, making sure that uh, the investigators, everything, all the evidence is kept where it needs to be for the investigators, the detectives. And on this day, were you wearing a, um, a wearable video system commonly referred to as a body cam? I was. Did you activate your body cam uh, prior? Like during that run, did you activate it? I did. Uh, prior to coming in here today, have you had an opportunity to review the body cam footage? I did. Uh, does the footage that's on that camera uh, fairly and accurately represent the scene and, and your actions and what happened right there when you responded to the call? Yes. Uh, Your Honor, I move to introduce what's being marked as Commonwealth Exhibit Number One and published to the jury. Uh, it's Chris Maybody's body cam. Any objection? No. No. Admitted. Are you going to play it? Yes. Uh, now this is, are you going to play it on this screen? 
Yes, Judge. I, I think I know that this is going to be in the officer's eyes. That's okay. He slide over. Move right, and then we'll see how it goes. That light will come up. You should be able to see in front of you, okay. I think, unless it's going through your computer. You probably won't then.
Combs. Yeah. Okay. Make sure we're not just... So they've been here for a while. He's still breathing. Yeah. I can't see anything else leaving. So she's... She's coming stiff. He's still breathing. I don't see a gunshot wound. But we see blood everywhere. He's still breathing. The only thing we can see is just blood on the backside of the shed. Yeah, yeah, she's cold and stiff. We can't find him. We can't find him. He's been licking his lips. I mean, he's been. Yeah, there's got to be some kind of wound right here, but just all of them. Oh, uh, yeah. See this? Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to figure out. Yeah. Right. We rolled the back of his head. We couldn't see anything. It's just dry blood all up in there. I mean, it's wet blood, but... So, yeah. Hey, you want a backboard? You want a stretcher brought in here? What? Let's get a backboard and let's carry him out. That's probably the best. Let's get a backboard. Go ahead. Wait a minute. You just want to drag him and go? Yep. Okay, let's get the hell out. Well, I'm not taking a hand here. One more unit is working again. Okay. Oh, she's taking the unit. You got to grab the backboard right now. Okay. We're changing the stretcher right now. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah, we have to yeah. go around right. board. Hey, hey, Zach, we're going to take the offer if you want to do that. Hey, if you want, hey, if you want, get my rider and start a log. Yeah. Okay, this is going to have Do you have one? Do you have a log? Who are you? 2 4 7 call Hey, I'm going to run out grab my chain real quick. Hey, Adam, I'm going to grab my chain with the radio. Take some pictures. I got one. Excuse me. Before you move them. Backboard comes through. All right. If I can. Hey, they're getting ready to move one real quick. I don't know if you want me to snap pictures or... No, that's all right. Be He's still alive. Be on your cameras. Okay. All right. First time I'm getting rid of my cameras. So okay. I'll grab him. How far are you want it, Mark? Uh, I'm going to go to the bar.
you walk over here, honey.
clear back here. There is that lot of building. Last time I was here, these rent these are rooms are rented out separately. Just to look to see if there was any evidence laying out in the open that I could, you know, tell the detectives about, or to make sure that it didn't get moved or kicked or with someone moving around, walking around. Did you notice that anything had been kicked? I did not. Um, and other than where you were helping EMS move Daryl's body around, mm. did you move anything in the apartment? No. Did you take anything out of the apartment? No. Did you bring anything into the apartment? It's just what I had on me. Um, did you leave anything behind? Maybe some gloves, possibly. You know, we wear our latex gloves and we change them in and out if they get ripped sometimes. Right. But did you? Were you looking for a weapon? We did. We just looked around to see if we saw one laying around, which did we do on any kind of scene like that always. Did you find a, any sort of weapon? Did not. No firearm. No. Any baseball bats. I don't recall. Gloves. Didn't find anything that I thought was pertinent to that. Investigation. And you very quickly saw the, the shell casing laying there on the floor by the female victim's head, right? Correct. And when you went back and cleared the rest of the, the building, um, you walked past and you knocked on that second apartment door. Um, we don't always get the audio from, from the camp. So did you hear anything after you had knocked on the second did, door? I did not. Um, after you cleared through the back, did you see any other residents or civilians who could have been residents there other than the, the three people that met you out front and the two victims? I did not. After you cleared everything and you walked the detectives around, um, did you have any more involvement in the case? Other than just holding the scene for the detectives, no. I don't have any further questions, officer. Uh, please ask, answer any questions defense counsel may have. Ms. Erskine, cross. Uh, just a few. Hi, officer. Good morning. Hello. Um, so you arrive right there, and then pretty quickly you're in the apartment, right? Correct. Um, you may not know off the top, but I do have your body cam queued up in case we need it. Um, you're able to see the bedroom door from the apartment door, right? From the front door? Not the front of the house, the front of the apartment. Oh, I see, from the hallway door right there. Would you like me to show you? I, I know I know what you're talking about. Yes, you can see it from there. Okay, so you're at the apartment door mm -hmm. and there's a living room, right? Yes. And then there's the bedroom door kind of to the right and back, right? Correct. And you can see into the bedroom just a little bit from the front of the apartment, right? Correct. Uh, and um, it's a small bedroom, right? Yes. And there's not actually much room at all between the door to the bedroom and the bed, right? No. Would you say a foot or two? Approximately, yes. Okay. Um, the apartment's pretty messy, right? Yes. And there's, uh, in the living room, do you remember, did you get a good look at the living room? I did. Okay, there's um, broken glass, right? I don't recall. 
to the point where I can glass. Um, you know what, let me get, let me get the body So in the beginning of the, of the camera, you pretty much just walk right into the bedroom, right? Correct. Okay. And you're not really in the living room until maybe the second half or so, right? Here you are in the living room, right? Mm -hmm. See, there's something on the ground, but I can't tell what it is. Okay. Um, but it's fair to say that there's some stuff strewn about the living room, right? Yes, correct. Okay. For an injury. For an injury, mm -hmm. right. And so um, there's some there's some items underneath him, right? Underneath his head. Uh, maybe a blanket or a thing, maybe. Okay. And at one point, um, someone kind of moves to one of those items out of the way from behind his head, right? It appeared that way. Okay. And those some of those items are, are 
look like they're saturated in blood, right? Correct. And just two more questions. So the bedroom itself is also pretty messy, right? I, I don't recall if the bedroom was messy. There was so much going on at that time in the bedroom that I just don't recall. Okay. I think that's all I have. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Cross, Mr. McCloud? No, no questions. Any redirect? Mr. Taylor? Nothing further, Your Honor. Thank you. Sir, you're excused. Thank, Thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a break uh, right now. I know you didn't think I was going to do that, did you? Mm -hmm. But I went. <laughs> Uh, this is the first of many breaks during the week, so uh, the admonition I gave you will be said every time. Don't discuss this matter with anyone or each other. Uh, let's take 10 minutes, meet back out front, and Sheriff Embry will gather you up. So you may proceed out, sir, since you... Uh, All right, please, Jerry, please. You're the leader of the pack, sir. You may go on out. Leave your pads here so no one can get to them. Feel free to bring something to sip on if you'd like. Bring back. And I also want to say, we have a lot of family members and, and um, uh, observers and such. Jurors are off limits to everybody. I, I know everybody knows that, but I have to say it. Um, so probably restrooms would be best used while they're on break on another floor. Uh, it, I'm just throwing that. I'm not requiring you, but it'll save a lot of headaches. See you all in 10 minutes.